Mona in California. You're on the Investigative Journal. Oh, hi, Greg. This is Mona, the, grand, the grandchild and child of three 32-degree Masons. Okay. And uh, I object to the war, and I object to our controlled media and the hate speech laws. Okay. But I see these problems as coming from the house of Rothschild, not from Freemasonry. In fact, because Freemasonry is actually the white Anglo-Saxon power structure, I see all of these attacks on Freemasonry as communist-inspired. Okay. My question to your guest is... You you uh, you criticize the Freemasons for elevating intellect to such a high level, and I wanted to point out that the reason the Masons did that is because they were protesting against the papacy that burned you at the stake if you didn't worship a god who tortured his own son to death to satisfy his need to punish sinners. Now, why would you not agree that intellect should be elevated above such superstition? Do, and another question is, do you believe that there's no evolution and do you not believe in a population explosion? Go ahead. Oh, okay, number one, your name is just a scrambled Annan, so I know you're the daughter of Masonry. And uh, uh, what's also interesting is you see that people are, are being given intellect. They're not being given intellect at all. The school system is not turning out intellectual people. They're, turn, they're turning out uh, uh, zombies at the moment. And that's run by masonry at the top. I agree, but I don't think it's run by masonry, although it is in a sense, because I think that masonry has been twisted by communism, which says that everyone should be equal. We shouldn't give uh, different education to gifted children that we give. Yeah. To, well, if you, if you if you read yeah. um, if you read Trotsky, his own book is called My Life. He tells you that he joined masonry and that all the top communists were free Freemasons. Yes, I, and I agree with you that, that the Jews did infiltrate masonry, which tried very hard to keep them out. Not, 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 not at all, not at all, because masonry is a brother, an international brotherhood that takes everybody in. Hirohito of Japan, you'll find in Freemasonic books, was initiated into the Knights of the Garter by British royalty before World War II. I'm not saying they didn't make exceptions, but Freemasons, Freemasonry is a Protestant organization. Uh, no, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. No, it is, it is not. Okay, what, uh, what, what is it then? Go ahead. It, 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 they give a branch to everybody. Even the Chinese have a branch of it. And, and uh, they all have the top head. They're all controlled by the capstone. That's what the capstone stands for. If you're on one side of the pyramid, you can't see the other three sides. So you're saying American Freemasonry, Protestant Freemasonry, there's a... There's a Catholic one, yeah. Catholic one, a Hindu, I mean, as we uh -huh. go along. Yeah. And you find these guys, yeah, if you trace it, you're, 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 um, you, you can find that uh, Freemasons uh, in all... John Dewey, all these boys were, were Freemasons. They gave you the educational system. Yeah. Mona? Yes, yes huh? but, well, first of all, there aren't three sides to a pyramid. There are four. No, it's actually, there's actually more. Yeah. And, um, I'm lost there. What do you guys mean? Well, he said that there were three sides to a pyramid. But a pyramid no, I said if you're standing on one side, you don't see that there are three. Oh, yeah, right. But there's also another one below it, okay. the base. Okay. Now, what, what I'm saying is, is that it, it's, it's, it was clear in my upbringing that the, that the Masons did not allow Catholics or Jews in because they didn't want to be... Uh, they did not want to be infiltrated with superstitious nonsense. They certainly did put intellect above everything else. Although they had a great affection for the ancient Egyptian traditions because, uh, as you may not know, ancient, ancient Egypt that built the first pyramid was built by Anglo-Saxons. And uh, Well, I think you've swallowed an awful lot of the nonsense that comes with this, really. Well, you, 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 really you really have. This is all later propaganda that was put out in the last hundred odd years. And and so have the Jews and the, and the blacks and the um, Catholics. And the only, Polish people, too. Only been allowed in masonry in the last 50 years since the Second World War, when all of the racial barriers were torn down. That's not true. The Rothschilds were allowed into the British, uh, the English one, uh, when, they, when they took over the Bank of England. Exactly. And that is where I think our problems began. As I think I said, I think our problems come from the House of Rothschild, not the rich white guys, who simply formed a, a group in uh, response to the king's oppression to say, hey, we are going to gather together as masons, stone masons, builders of uh, houses and walls, 
and we're going to decide for ourselves. It was the first union that was ever formed. Uh, the, 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 the ancient Egypt, ancient Egypt, was a socialist-run system. I'm not talking about ancient Egypt. Just and, and, and the stonemasons there were all paid by the top guy, of the state. The state paid them their wages. I'm talking about Freemasonry, which started in England, and and as the first. Uh, union standing up against the king who was running a feudal system and they said we're going to decide for ourselves what our standards are and we're going to be so good that you're going to have to pay us and we don't this, is, this is the propaganda you, you've read since then they, they came in in the 1500s they were, they were preaching the same stuff then into yeah. Rosicrucian Ro the Rosicrucian movement gave you the Blue Lodge I don't know what the Blue Lodge is I do know that Rosicrucians believe that if you go into a meditative state, you can communicate with spirits. And I don't see anything intrinsically evil about that. Well, that's, yeah, that's fine. Propaganda. You see, you're allowed to believe the propaganda that's given on a lower level. And, and what you're, you've told me so far is a lower level propaganda. Yes, and, and you have to prove that my propaganda is false. Well, let's, let's just start. If I could just break in here, let me just ask both of you a question. Okay, and I'm going to ask myself the question. Uh, Greg, do you want to stop the world, New World Order? Yes. I don't think I'd like to see a one world government. I don't think I'd like to see a one world religion, and I don't think I'd like to see my free, free will and free thought taken away. Now, let's go with my guest. Uh, well, Alan, do you feel, what do you feel about that question? Uh, that's correct, and that's why you can't have people who join organizations and swear oaths to keep secrets from everyone else and then put them into official dumb over the top of you. Now, Mona, I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you believe, uh, do you want to stop the New World Order? Do you believe in free will and free thought? Yes, but I do not think that precludes people from joining clubs and having secrets. Okay. Okay, well... Well, there's your problem. Because we could go on for a while. That's your problem right there, yeah. Okay. Mona, thank you so much. You can call any time. Uh, let's move on. Joyce in Wisconsin on the Investigative Journal. Yes, thank you for your program. Okay. Uh, while you were speaking to the lady that was just on, uh, I just wanted to add before I ask my question. My father was a member of the Blue Lodge of the Scottish Rite, and he read a book that a friend had given him before he died. I would say maybe it was about eight years before he died. And the author's last name was Streeter. I was young, and I wasn't paying too much attention, but I do remember a little bit about what was going on. And the book was entitled In High Places, and my father was never the same. He was a um, secretary treasurer for a lodge in um, a suburb of the city I grew up in, and he never did support going to the meetings or anything about Freemasonry. He just gave it up. He never attended any more meetings. And I was so thankful for that friend, whoever he was, to straighten my father out. Yeah, we have about a minute or so, Alan. Is there anything you wanted to finish up with? Yeah, well, that's, that shows you the pigeonholes that the people are in where you have daughters of Masons. Uh, in my first book, they should read that because I photocopy right out of their own charter books from the Grand Lodge of England that tells you that the, free, the female sex are simply there for show and they're, get, they're never given the real secrets. And I, I, I print it all up for them. They're being used, yeah. 